please do subscribe to our nehra classes youtube channel and also turn on the bell notifications to receive the updates of our videos directly in your device hello friends i vikas nehra welcome you all to our nehra classes youtube channel in today's tutorial we will learn how to build up or create the rpm from scratch in rhel or in centos based machines but before proceeding further let me give you the brief idea about rpm and rpm build environment actually rpm is both the package manager and the package format used by many linux distributions such as fedora red hat and centos to manage and distribute software in binary form the root of an rpm build environment tree is the rpm build directory and this is the directory and this directory contains six sub directories which include build build root rpms sources specs and srpms each of these directories has a specific role in the rpm building process the build directory is where the source code of the program we want to package is built root build directory is where the files resulting from the compilation of the software inside the build directory are copied rpms directory is where rpm packages are generated sources directory hosts the compressed source code of the software we want to package specs directory is where we put the specs file with the instructions to build our package and srpms directory is equivalent to the rpms but for the source rpms this special package contains the original source code of the application and the specs file is the file where all the instructions and the information needed to build the rpm package are defined and it has the extension as .spec so in today's tutorial we are going to use this machine that is running on rhel 8.2 and on this machine we will create the rpm and that rpm will help you to create the local repository in your machine so without wasting time let's get started to create the rpm package we require the source code you can download the source code from github or from any other website or if you know how to write the code you can use your own code to create the rpm package for the same if you have the source code then after following few instructions you can easily create the rpm package so in today's tutorial what we are going to do we will create the rpm package and th that package will help you to configure the local yum repository in your rhel 8 machine and after creating this package i will put it uh, in our telegram channel you can directly download it and you can test it so in order to create the package in your machine you will log in in the machine as the root user and you will have to make sure that the local yum repository is properly configured in your machine i have already configured it if you find it difficult you can watch my videos i will provide you the link in the description as well as in the i button after that in the next step we will download few packages in our machine that are required to create the rpm package and the packages are rpm dev tools and rpm hyphen build these packages are required to create the rpm package so we can download and install them from the local yum repository in our machine and in the next step what i will do i will move the local repository file that is inside etc yum.repos.d directory the name is local.repo to slash tmp because i don't want to use the local yum repository and i will show you after creating the rpm how can we configure the local yum repository directly from the package which we will create in today's tutorial now the local yum repository will not work because i have moved this local yum repository file to the slash tmp directory and let me show you 
the details of etc yum.repos.d directory as well there is no file for the local yum repository configuration now in the next step we will switch in the account of any normal user let me switch in the account of vikas nara and here we will create the rpm we always use or we always prefer to create the rpm from the normal user account so here uh, i will execute rpm dev setup tree command so what this command will do this command will create a directory that is the root directory and the name of the same would be rpm build you can verify the details uh, by running the tree command tree and the rpm build so it will show you the directory structure so this is the directory that is there and it contains the few sub directories which we will use to create the rpm package in our machine now in the next step we will move in rpm build sources directory and there we will execute the ls command you will not find anything in this directory so here we will create a directory first with the help of mkdir command mkdir hyphen p and i will give the name as local uh, repo hyphen 1 and it is slash etc then slash yum dot repos dot d we will mention the same name because we want to create the package to configure the local yum repository and press enter so it will create the directory structure like this and in the next step we will create a file there which we will use uh, to configure the local yum repository so here let me create a file with the name as rhel8 local dot repo and in this file we will mention the details for the local yum repository i already have copied them here in one file or you can write them manually there in the file let me copy and paste all these details there and here we can paste so here we will define both these streams base os as well as app stream because in rhel8 we use two streams for the packages and here we will define the path as well where we will mount our iso image so we will mount that on slash mnt to use in the local yum repository now we will save this file so we have created the file as well now in the next step we will create the zip file so we will execute tar hyphen c v zf and we will mention the name of the directory that is local repo hyphen 1 and here we will mention the extension dot tar dot gz and the directory name so what it will do it will create a zip file here we will use the same zip file to create the rpm now in the next step we will go to the specs directory that is there in the rpm build and there we will execute the ls command you will not find any file or directory present here now in the next step what we will do we will create a default specs file so to create the spec file we will mention here the command rpm dev hyphen new spec and after that we can give the name to this spec file so let me mention the name as local repo dot spec extension always should be spec press enter so it will create the spec file there now in the next step we will edit this file and here we will mention each and every detail for this file so what we will mention here we will mention the name we will mention the version everything we will man manually mention there let me quickly mention these details in this file because this file is responsible to create the rpm and here the name should be local repo the same name which we have mentioned earlier and after that we will mention the version let me mention the version as 1 after that 
we will have to mention the release release we can mention here zero after that we can mention here the summary let me mention here local repo for rhel8 in the next line we can mention group and it should be system environment slash base license we can mention gpl in the url we can mention https double forward slash and www.youtube.com slash nehra classes i'm using the url of my channel then in the next we will have to mention the name for the source here we will mention the zip file name and the zip file name in our case is local repo hyphen one dot tar dot zz we will mention this name here like this and after that we can remove these two lines requires and build requires and instead of these two we can mention here build arc build arc colon and it should be no arc no arch and build root build root we can mention build root as percentile and here we can mention underscore tmp path slash percentile name bracket close hyphen build root like this now in the description we can mention the description for this rpm so let me mention the description as create a local yum repo file in slash etc slash yum dot repos dot d directory like this here in the percentile prep we can mention percentile setup hyphen q and we can remove this segment this build segment because we are not using it we are not running any code so we can remove it in the install section uh, we can mention the details mkdir hyphen p and here we will mention dollar rpm build root close the inverted commas like this in the next line we can mention cp hyphen r asterisk and same rpm build root like this now in the next segment we can mention percentile clean rm hyphen rf build root and we can remove this line make install line from here and here we can remove these two lines as well that are for the license and doc docs and here instead of these two we can mention the attributes so let me mention here percentile default attribute attr and these should be dash comma root comma root comma dash and in the next one we can mention the path that is etc yum dot repos dot d directory this path and after that we will use the same name that we have used for the repo file and here we will mention the same name that is rhl8 local dot repo after that here we in the change log section we can mention our name along with the date so it already contains the details as vikas nera and now we can save it 
so we have successfully saved this specs file as well now in the next step we will go to the home directory and now we can build the rpm so here we will create we will create the rpm with the help of rpm build command rpm build hyphen v hyphen bb v for the verbose and it is for the code and after that we can mention rpm build the exact path of the spec file spec and the spec file name so this command will create the rpm package here it is now we can verify the same we will check what it will do so here we will execute rpm hyphen qpl command and after that we will mention rpm build and the complete path rpm s then no arc and then the rpm which we have just created so it will show you the path so it will create this repo file there in the etc yum.repos.d directory now in the next step we will go in the account of the root user and we will execute or we will install this rpm by using the rpm command so we will execute rpm hyphen ivh command to install this rpm and the path of the same is home vikas nara rpm build and after that we will mention rpms no arc and the rpm name so if i will press enter here this rpm will get installed in our system here it is so we have successfully created and installed the rpm in our machine now we will verify the details with rpm hyphen qa command rpm query installed and here we can grab the rpm the name of the rpm package is local repo which we have just created and installed in our machine we will grab it here and we will press enter so it will show us the details of this rpm which is installed in our machine now we will verify whether the repo file is created or not so we will go to the etcm.repos.d directory and here we will long list the contents and here you will find this rhl8 local.repo file which is just created here after installing the rpm let me show you the details here with the cat command and here uh, here are the same details and now we will verify whether the yum repository is working that is the local repository or not so we will execute yum repo list command here and press enter so it will show us the details of the repository which we have configured it is the local repository that is configured automatically after installing the rpm package now i will try to install few packages from this local yum repository to show you the working of this let me install the httpd package from this local yum repository in my machine so i will execute yum install hyphen y httpd command and it will automatically install this package this package is already installed uh, let me remove it and install again yum remove hyphen y httpd package is removed now and now i will again install it here it is the package got successfully installed in our machine so in this way we can easily create any rpm and for that what we need we require the source code only if we know the code we can easily create the rpm with the help of source code and even we can modify the code and create our own rpm package for the linux distributions like red hat and centos okay guys that's it for today's session and today we have set a target of 200 likes on this video if you like my hard work then please give a like to this video and also keep passing on our videos with your friends and colleagues and if you are new on our channel then please subscribe us and turn on the bell notification i'll see you in the next session till then bye bye jai hind vande mataram